Yeah, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another video, man. We are here in the revamped Racer Ferrari, man. Now, as you guys can see, I had to switch things up from the last video that I posted, man. That thing was ugly as fuck, but we did it for the sake of the tube, man. So do it for the vine. You guys already know what's up, man. And this one. We have a oh this we have this guy fucking me up right now. Uh, we have a little personal build, man. Something that I kind of wanted to do myself, man. And that is a Honda build, man, and specifically a rear-wheel drive Honda build, man. Now there's a couple of options in this game. Uh, one being the Honda NSX R. Uh, you guys already know what's up, man. Um, oh, that's free. We're gonna be getting that soon. And the S2000, man. Now, I, for some reason, have it in my heart to build an S2000 today, man. So that's what we're going to do. Drift King up in the motherfucking house. And uh, we're going to see if they have anything that interests us here as far as the wraps. That's pretty cool for Forza. Uh, I kind of like that one, man. Uh, I'm liking the white. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, the Skittles. Skittles. You guys already know what's up, man. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like... Oh, the Kamikaze's looking pretty dope as well, man. I think we are going to go with the black on white, man. Just because it looks super dope as usual, man. So, uh, welcome to the channel, guys. If you guys are new... Thanks for joining us today, man. If you guys like this video and want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. It's just below the video. And, uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, man, because it helps. You guys already know, man. We are out here in the used to be Ricer Ferrari, man. Uh, if you guys want to see that video, make sure you hit the channel. Um, but we are not dealing with that right now man what we're gonna do is try to make this honda s2000 oh man i'm always doing this uh that s2000 as ricey less riceless beg my pardon not ricey as riceless as humanly possible man because i kind of like this car in real life and uh even though it lacks a little bit of power, uh, for what it is, a rear-wheel drive front-engine vehicle, it's a gem, man. So we are going to jump into the garage. That Ricer Ferrari, not so Ricer anymore. We're going to jump into the garage and jump into this All build, right. man. So, so if you guys are, are watching and you already subscribed to the channel, I just want to give a big ups to you, man, because you guys are what make all this possible man because without the views without the subscribers man i would just i'd probably be giving up oh look at that it kind of looks like our mazda miata man um yeah so straight up man I, I probably wouldn't even make these videos on a regular basis if i knew that people weren't uh regularly subscribing and watching man so if you guys are subscribed man i just want to give a big thanks out to you guys man so without further ado we are going to jump into the custom upgrade section of this now you guys already know that I'm gonna check out the conversions because I'm thinking maybe an NSX what three five swap uh, let's have a look here 6.2 liter v8 my god man I don't even know what that is out of but you know what man lots of acceleration losing out on a bit of the speed Damn, 600 horsepower out of the box. Actually, I guess that would be a uh, numeric, uh, what's that, kilowatts? Kilowatts. Uh, Drivetrain swap, all-wheel drive, blasphemy, man. We are not even going to bother with that. But what I am going to do is throw a big, dirty, single turbo on there, man, because we need power. Um, I'm thinking maybe a drift build in this one, man. Uh Damn, that front bumper is aggressive as fuck. Almost looks a little ugly, man. A little ricey off the bat. I'm, I was hoping we could maybe swap that out, but we cannot. Uh, so let's see. It's a choice between a small wing or a big wing, which is we oddly shaped, surprisingly. So what I think is we're going to do is just leave that part already installed, man. And let's jump into the tire section. Now, what we're going to do with a drift build is leave the stock tire compound 
Now what I am going to suggest is maybe just upgrading that front tire width so we do still have some steering ability man. Now, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to affect the performance but uh, we're going to find out man. Now what we're going to do tires and rim style unable to upgrade the size man so what we're going to do is jump in here. Now they're already painted black so I can barely even see what's going on there. Can we get somewhat of a lip? look like we got a little bit of a lip happening there now let's see if we can go up in size without being too tacky man now let's have a look holy shit man we can go all the way up to the what is that oh it does say the size man 18 19 or 20 man we are gonna keep a nice 18 all around i'm thinking man because you know we don't want to weigh it down too much we just wanted to have a nice slick look to it man which i think it already does that paint scheme one of my favorites in all of life, the black with the accenting the white man looking super dope. So uh, let's jump into the drive. Oh, wait a sec. Yeah, tires. Drive yeah, yeah, drivetrain. We are going to throw in a clutch. Oh, for show. And uh, what we're also going to do is put in that motherfucking race diff so we can get both tires kicking back at the same motherfucking time. And uh, transmission, I think we're going to leave it because we're not going to put too much more power on here so i think gear wise uh we should be okay what i'm gonna do is upgrade those brakes because we are gonna need to stop uh upgrade that suspension the race oh look at that already tucking man looking so sick uh and because we are gonna be drifting with this bad boy we are gonna throw in those roll bars you guys know what's up and uh that's looking pretty good i'm pretty happy with that uh, no weight reduction needed. These vehicles are already put pretty light from stock. Uh, so we're going to get in here. Intake, bubble, exhaust, obviously for that loudness. Uh, now, unfortunately, we're already at the top of 700. So what I think I may do is just boost it up. 725, looking pretty good. And uh, what else? Say we do the displacement on here. Get as close to that 6.2 liters as possible, man. And uh, what do you say? Some camshafts, man. Let's. Oh, look at that. That completely changes the uh, the way that this car is gonna hit VTEC, man. And it's gonna stay, as you guys can see. Uh, it's gonna run on for a lot more RPMs, man. Now this is topping out. What does that look like? Around 8,000 RPMs. Uh, so that's gonna be closer to nine and a half and so that is looking pretty good and uh i think that i'm pretty happy with this man i don't think i'm going to be racing this so i don't need to bring it to the top of the class because you guys already know that i do like to have it at the top of whatever class it's in uh just so that if i do have to race somebody uh or race in the game that uh the car will perform but this will be a drift car so what we're going to do is jump into the tuning aspect of it man as you guys know we didn't touch the gearing uh we are going to however stiffen up those springs because we do want it to be super stiff like macaque right you guys already know what my cocks are. i know do you no maybe not maybe not only my ex-friends my ex-girlfriends to be exact uh and then we're gonna put that ride height to low dampening looks good aero brake brakes are good that diff man uh, we're going to leave the diff the way that it is, and we are going to apply this setup, man. Now, what we are going to do is uh, I'm thinking maybe fast track. Oh, and it's in the rain. How special with that friggin' differential, man. This is going to be some sort of fun, I'm sure, man. So what we're going to do, oh, look at this. That's looking like a pretty nice road right there. So we're just going to fast travel right to the entrance of this road. And while we're loading, let me just take a second to say once again thank you guys for watching and uh if you guys have any requests that you guys want to see any type of build man we are taking requests um so let me know down in the comments section and i will do my best to make sure that uh we get that that build done for you guys mm. and if you guys want to play with me man add my gamer tag at d-o-n-s-q-u a L E on Xbox and uh, PlayStation Network. So we're just gonna jump into this rainy road, get some drifts happening. DK, you guys already know this thing is just drifting like a beast, man. I am liking it already. Third gear, let's see how third gear does. Oh, just 
ripping them RPMs, man. Looking like nine and a half grand red line. Let's see if we can get around this traffic. Third gear downshift. Oh, this car is some sort of fresh, man. Oh, the general public taking a bit of a lick in there. Lacks a little bit of low end power, but once it gets up into the top of those RPMs, man, just swings like a motherfucker. Now, ooh, easy. Great skill chain. Now let's see how, oh man, it is raining. So as soon as we get into that high RPM, oh, there it is. We just break that traction. Oh, boom, death count number one for our car, ladies and gentlemen, chalk it up. Well, that's what happens when you drift, man. You fuck your whip up, man. Let's see if we can do a little styling around the Roundabout, oh no, the rain getting the better of us. Actually, it looks like it just stopped raining, man. So let's see if we can get a little bit of traction going here second gear there you go that's looking about where we need to be around this roundabout just redlining the shit that guy didn't give a fuck about no roundabout oh that is what we're after taking some shies out that second gear redline is looking pretty healthy for the roundabouts man so oh this car is a handful man all that grip up front and real loose in the back just makes that ass end want to swing around, man. Now it doesn't like doesn't like being in third gear. Only shitty thing is that second gear is pretty well revved all the way up by the time we're drifting, so we're not getting too much power to keep keep the car sideways, but unfortunately. When we get in the third gear, you really got to have her humming in order for it to keep drifting. So maybe a tune, maybe in order. No fucks given, man. On to the highway. Dirty old drift. Oh, yeah. She likes to spin, ladies and gentlemen. She likes to spin. See what we can do in fourth gear here, folks. She don't have enough power. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That might be the ticket. Nope, not quite. Woo what a beast this thing is, man. I can only imagine what this thing would be like. If it had that 6.2 liter powertrain, now I don't know what exactly that would have came out of. Maybe a Honda race car. Oh, skill points. Thank you. Maybe a Honda race car. I have never even heard of a 6.2 liter Honda motor. So if you guys know, make sure you drop that down in the comments. Well, we are just going to explore some unexplored roads here. So with that being said, I think we are going to pull over and take some pictures of our drift build, man. If you guys enjoy this video or did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, man. And uh, if you guys want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button and or check out some more of our videos on our channel. And uh, yeah, if you guys have a request, make sure you drop it down in the comments, mofos. Uh, so with that being said, we are just pulled off to the side, man. We are going to jump into photo mode and snap some pictures, not change the settings, man. So with this being said, it is your boy, Don Squally. I am, uh, you know, hoping you guys enjoy this build, man. And uh, if you do, make sure that you let me know. 
Um, if you guys, once again, if you guys want to play with me, man, add me up at D-O-N-S-Q-U-A-L-E. Uh, that's both on, both on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. You bitch, you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm liking that angle. Uh, so what we're going to do is just the usual thing that, uh, that us racers do when we hit up the spot, man. We just take a couple pictures so we don't forget what our car looks like when we are not around it, man. Uh, so, yeah. I th I'm thinking that's uh, pretty much a wrap here, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, it is your boy, Don motherfucking Squally. Um, just doing the damn thing and moving the damn thing. You guys already know what's up, man. So with that being said, we're going to end this video, man. Once again, thanks for watching. And um, shit, that's about it, man. We're going to catch you guys at the next one. Peace.